Hello friends, welcome. This video is a part of a video series of UNCLOS. This is part 4 and this is subsection in which I discuss the rights and duties of coastal state over her territorial water, contiguous zone, continental shelf, etc. So let's get started. Starting with the rights and duties of a coastal state over her territorial waters. So in the territorial waters, coastal state has right to exercise criminal jurisdiction and also civil jurisdiction. However, to exercise criminal jurisdiction, the following circumstances are required. If the result of the crime extends to the coastal state, or if the crime disturbs the peace and good order of the coastal state, or if the master of the ship or the agent of the vessel requests the coastal state to do so, or to suppress illicit traffic of drugs. So these are the four possibilities after which a coastal state may exercise criminal jurisdiction in the territorial waters. And then talking about the civil jurisdiction, the coastal state should not stop or divert a foreign vessel passing through the territorial sea. For the purpose of exercising civil jurisdiction, in relation to a person on board the ship, civil jurisdiction can only be exercised within territorial sea on vessels which are passing through territorial seas after leaving the coastal state internal waters. So it's fairly simple to remember, for a civil case to happen, someone has to be in contact with the civilians. Thus, the ship needs to visit the internal waters and where after getting in contact with them, a civil jurisdiction may be exercised. However, the criminal jurisdiction can always be exercised when the coastal state is getting affected because of the nature of crime or through drugs or when master of the ship or the agent of the ship send a request to the coastal authorities to interfere in this matter. And as discussed in the previous part also, the coastal state may adopt laws and regulations which are in conformity with the provisions of UNCLOS and all such laws must be given the due publicity and thus making it necessary for the foreign vessels to comply with all such laws and regulations. The coastal state can further take necessary steps in the territorial sea to prevent passage which is not innocent. Similarly, laws and regulations made for the navigational purposes like TSS, sea lanes in its territorial sea are required to be complied with by the foreign ships exercising the right of innocent passage through the territorial sea. And in particular, tankers, nuclear ships or other ships carrying dangerous goods may be required to confine their passage to such sea lanes. The coastal state shall clearly indicate such lanes and TSS on charts to which due publicity shall be given. Further, it is the duty of the coastal state that it shall not hamper the innocent passage of the foreign ships through its territorial sea. They shall not impose requirements that have a practical effect of denying the right of innocent passage and they shall not discriminate among ships in any way. The coastal state shall give appropriate publicity to any danger to navigation of which it has knowledge within its territorial sea. Then next let's talk about the rights and duties of a coastal state over her contiguous zone. So in the contiguous zone, the coastal state may exercise the control necessary to prevent infringement of its custom, fiscal, immigration or sanitary laws and regulations within its territory or territorial sea. In the contiguous zone, the coastal state can punish infringement of the above laws committed within its territory. Now further moving on to the rights and duties of a coastal state over her exclusive economic zone. In the exclusive economic zone, the coastal state has sovereign rights of the following for exploring and exploiting the natural resources, conserving and managing the natural resources, other activities for the economic exploitation such as production of energy from water, current and wind, activities for exploration of the zone, establishment and use of artificial islands, installations and structures, carry out marine scientific research take steps for the protection and preservation of marine environment. So anything related to the economic source within the boundary of the 
exclusive economic zone. A coastal state may exclusively use those resources and establish physical structures to make use of it. After completing the rights, let's talk about the duties. Due notice must be given of the construction of artificial islands, installations or structures and then means must be established for giving warning of their presence. The coastal state may, where necessary, establish reasonable safety zone around artificial islands, installations and structures for their safety and for the safety of navigation. It must be not more than 500 meters around them. Then coastal state may have set forth fishery laws and carry out licensing of the fishermen, their boat and equipments. A coastal state may also set penalties for violation of fishery laws and regulations in the exclusive economic zone. And that is why it is very common to receive a warning from the agent where the ship is calling that fishing is not permitted in the coastal waters. So this is basically a rule they have established and any foreign vessel in those waters must comply with that and in case they do not comply, rules and regulations and fines can be imposed as per the local regulations. And finally coming to the last point of rights of the coastal state over the continental shelf. The coastal state exercises sovereign rights over the continental shelf for the purpose of exploring and exploiting its natural resources. These rights are exclusive in sense that if the coastal state does not explore the continental shelf or exploit its natural resources, no one may undertake these activities without the express consent of the coastal state. The natural resources referred above consist of minerals and other living and non-living resources of the seabed and subsoil. The coastal state shall have the exclusive right to authorize and regulate drilling on the continental shelf for all purposes. I hope this was a useful video for you. If you have any feedback, suggestion or comment, then please do write down below. All the best for your oral exams and as always, thank you for watching.